Welcome to Jacked at Any Age. Here at home. <laughs> Not feeling well. No, but I didn't go yesterday to the gym. I mean, I only go four days a week. I didn't go yesterday to the gym. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just not feeling well, man. God, the nausea was getting better. It started again. I may have spoken to quite a few people who thanked me for the videos, um, for the, you know, the comeback video. Today would be day four of 90, but my third workout. I'm going to go to the gym. And maybe I'll only walk for 20 minutes and come home. I, I don't know. I really is the worst I felt in a week. I really thought I was coming out of it. You know, I was coming out now today and I didn't do anything different. I slept the same way. I took my meds the same way. It's almost infuriating, man. Anyway, I'm going to, even if, I'm going to go try. Uh... No, no, I didn't throw up. So here it begins, getting in my car. Listen, this car, I lost my car in April, man. I had an accident, I didn't have anything. The insurance company gave me like like 1500 for my car. And an old friend, a good old friend, John, he sold me this for $500. Look at this, it's a beautiful car. Anyway, we're off to the gym, we'll see where that goes. Sort of applying the gym mentality with uh, getting there. You know, when uh, when the workouts ramp up, sorry, when the workouts ramp up and I begin to feel better, as I expect to feel better. If you expect to be upset, you'll seldom disappoint yourself. You don't grow while you're in the gym. You grow while you rest. While we're in the gym, we actually tear tissue, we tear muscle tissue. And then we try to provide the, the, for me it would be the hormonal environment, even though right now I'm really not messing with any hormones because I've got this nausea. I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna muddy the waters, you know? Now I add, I add a whole other thing into it. And, um, But I, can, I don't know whether I'm going to get it. The point I'm trying to make is sometimes I don't know whether I'm going to be able to lift that weight. I was telling them how in the 90s, we didn't have all these cambered bars and those specialty items. No, but everything was done on an Olympic bar. Everything. I even belonged to a gym. We had no, uh, we had no incline. It was a freaking two by eight leaning against, <laughs> leaning against the windowsill. <laughs> Push movements. When you're lifting, they're broken down, at least when you're doing upper body, let's call it. In doing upper body, you have either a, a movement that diminishes the angle on the arm. So if the angle is diminished, usually it also requires, like you diminish what when you pull in, right? When you pull in, you diminish the angle. Also, when you're curling, you diminish the angle. So that's why we're doing back. Because on back, you diminish the angle from above by bringing your knuckle to your chin, which is a chin up or a lat pull down, or you're bent over and you bring it up to your waist, like a bent over row or a dumbbell row. Um, so that's why people like to group and they talk about, oh, I'm doing chest and tries because chest and tries are the opposite. That's when you increase the angle. We'll cover that more. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to see if I can do one exercise for back, preferably maybe a lat pull down, and uh, one exercise for biceps, um, probably a curl, maybe dumbbell curl, maybe seated curl, uh, depending how I feel. And we'll just see. And like I said, I don't know how far this is going to go. I might walk in and uh, yeah, I don't know. But you know what? I'm not going to exclude myself. So I'm suit up and show up and then just see how the cards fall. Better than just sitting home, man. Burn, remember 70% of uh, your age, minus 220. Oh, a little explanation on that. So when you're born, theoretically, you know, why 220? Why 220? Oh, and, you're... and with every year you live, unless...
Well, unfortunately, what we were going to use is temporarily out of order. So let's see. Let's see if there's another. Oh, okay, here's another one. Okay. All right, we'll use this. This one I'm going to do right here. can actually feel a little more full metal. Very light, very light. Just my, my muscles have been flat, so I haven't even had blood circulating. So at least now, now I'm starting to feel the sponge saturated. The nausea went away, at least for now. Then I got the blood flow. Bitches. Okay. And if it doesn't work because somebody tripped this, that's a safety latch. So you hit go. Right? Then over here, some of them have it here. You'll see, see how that has that? That's to change the incline. And on the right hand, has a guy running, that's speed. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit the up button. See, and you'll see that right there. What is it? Hold on, we gotta even go again? Okay. So it gives you a countdown. And then, see if it gives you all this shit, don't even worry about it. Just come here, you hit that, and you see, just take it to 2.0 for now. All right? That'll start to move. So, see, whatever's going on with my body, I will exercise can only help. You know, sitting home is going to help me get through some noise and all that. I'm not saying it's going to eliminate it, but all kinds of chemicals are released while you're in the gym. Yeah, it's very healthy, very healthy kind of thing. And, uh, well, we did it. Fucking did it. Got my water. They're closing at 8. I'm so glad I came. I forgot they closed at 8 today. Now I'm running out of a battery, so I'm going to go to the dollar store to give Tula some cow lungs. She likes that. that that's like crack for dogs. Um, yeah, bovine lungs. They, they, they got them here for $1.25, so... You know, we're compromising on some treats that are actually healthy for her. Oh, the AC is great. All right, man. Godspeed. Another workout in. That's what matters. We will not be denied.